Recovering from a tumultuous relationship can be challenging, especially when dealing with a partner who exhibits narcissistic traits such as selfishness, arrogance, and manipulation. In this guide, we'll explore effective strategies to help you distance yourself from your ex-partner and embark on a journey towards healing and personal growth. It's essential to note that while these strategies can be beneficial, only a licensed therapist can diagnose Narcissistic Personality Disorder, NPD. Additionally, not all individuals with narcissistic traits are abusive or toxic. Let's dive into the steps to help you move on from any challenging or dysfunctional relationship. 1. Go No Contact If the relationship was abusive or toxic, implementing a no contact rule can be crucial for your well-being. This involves cutting off all communication with your ex-partner, including blocking them on social media, refraining from texting or calling them, and avoiding in-person encounters. By enforcing boundaries and eliminating contact, you can protect yourself from further manipulation and begin the healing process. While the no contact rule is typically recommended for at least 30 days, it may be beneficial to maintain this boundary indefinitely, especially in cases of severe emotional abuse. 2. Set boundaries for yourself. Establishing boundaries is essential for creating a sense of safety and autonomy. Define clear boundaries that protect your emotional and physical well-being and communicate them assertively to your ex-partner if necessary. Remember that boundaries are not meant to keep people out but to safeguard your dignity and self-respect. Prioritize self-care and prioritize your needs when setting boundaries and don't hesitate to seek support from trusted friends or a therapist. 3. Reflect on the relationship. Take time to reflect on the dynamics of the relationship and the impact it had on your emotional health. Acknowledge any feelings of anger, hurt, or betrayal, but also recognize the lessons learned from the experience. While it's natural to feel resentment towards your ex-partner, holding on to anger can hinder your healing process. Instead, focus on making peace with the past and embracing the opportunity for personal growth and resilience. 4. Write down your reasons for moving on. Clarify your motivations for ending the relationship by documenting your reasons for moving forward. Whether it's to prioritize your mental well-being, pursue personal goals, or seek healthier connections, having a tangible reminder of your intentions can provide clarity and resolve during moments of doubt or vulnerability. Keep this list accessible and refer to it whenever you need reassurance or encouragement on your journey. 5. Take a break from dating. Give yourself the time and space to heal before embarking on new romantic relationships. A toxic relationship can erode your self-esteem and trust in others, making it essential to reconnect with yourself and rebuild your sense of identity and worth. Avoid rushing into new relationships as a means of validation or distraction, and focus on nurturing a healthy relationship with yourself first. 6. Let yourself grieve. Allow yourself to mourn the loss of the relationship and acknowledge the range of emotions you may experience, including sadness, anger, and disappointment. Grieving is a natural part of the healing process and provides an opportunity to release pent-up emotions and make room for healing. Be gentle with yourself during this time and seek support from friends, family, or a therapist if needed. 7. Know that it's okay to still have feelings. Despite the pain and betrayal you may have experienced, it's normal to still have feelings for your ex-partner. Allow yourself to acknowledge these feelings without judgment or self-criticism. Remember that healing is a non-linear process, and it's okay to experience conflicting emotions as you navigate your recovery journey. 8. Reconnect with yourself. Rediscover your interests, passions, and strengths that may have been overshadowed during the relationship. Engage in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment, whether it's pursuing a hobby, exploring new opportunities, or reconnecting with old friends. By investing in self-discovery and self-care, you can rebuild your sense of identity and reclaim your autonomy. 9. Love yourself a little more. Prioritize self-love and self-compassion as you embark on your healing journey. Treat yourself with kindness and nurture your innermost needs and desires. Challenge negative self-talk and cultivate a positive self-image by affirming your worth and value. Remember that you deserve love, respect, and happiness, both from yourself and others. 10. 
Remember who you are. Reaffirm your identity and self-worth by reflecting on your strengths, values, and aspirations. Remind yourself of the unique qualities that make you who you are and celebrate the multifaceted aspects of your personality. Surround yourself with supportive friends and loved ones who appreciate and value you for who you are and embrace the journey of self-discovery and growth. 11. Reach out to loved ones for support. Don't hesitate to lean on your support network during this challenging time. Reach out to trusted friends, family members, or a support group for emotional support and guidance. Share your experiences and feelings openly and allow yourself to receive comfort and reassurance from those who care about you. Remember that you're not alone in your healing journey, and there are people who are willing to support you every step of the way. 12. Seek professional help. Consider seeking guidance from a qualified therapist or counselor who specializes in trauma recovery and relationship dynamics. Therapy can provide a safe and supportive space for you to process your emotions, gain insight into the patterns of behavior in your past relationship, and develop coping strategies for moving forward. A mental health professional can offer personalized support and guidance tailored to your unique needs and circumstances. In conclusion, healing from a narcissistic relationship is a journey that requires patience, self-compassion, and support. By implementing these strategies and prioritizing your emotional well-being, you can gradually reclaim your sense of self and cultivate healthier relationships in the future. Remember to be gentle with yourself, celebrate your progress, and honor your resilience in overcoming adversity. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing for more content. Take care. And remember that you deserve to thrive and find happiness after leaving a toxic relationship. Until next time, take care of yourself and prioritize your well-being.